back-to-back -back sailing with Virgin Voyages, should you do it? What are the key reasons why? And what are some of the top concerns that people have? What's the process if you do it? And an honest review from two people who have done it. I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is CL. I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. I love sailing with Virgin Voyages. I've been on eight sailings, and I'm bringing in an expert today in this mini-series to help you answer some of these top questions. JC, who are you? Jason Carter with CSUN Vacations. And this is my travel agent. This man can hook you up. So make sure you check out the link in the description to make sure you're getting the best deal on your sailing. Back-to-back -back cruising. Why should somebody do it, JC? It extends your vacation. I know, right? Virgin, why not? No. The answer is why not? Okay, yeah, okay. there's a couple other key reasons why. There's You just don't have enough time on the boat to ex you get to experience everything. So that gives you that time. And there's other, you know, there's opportunities also that where you could see potentially other ports on, on a back-to-back. -back. Exactly. I would say that there are kind of like three key reasons why you want to back-to-back -back cruise, aside from the why not. Extending your vacation time. And so obviously if, if the sailing that you're on is only four nights, but you might want eight, for example, a back-to-back -back can help. But let's say the six night vacation that's the alternative is not the right number. You can create the number that's right for you. The second thing is diversity. And there's two types of diversity of the type of sailing you can have. The first one is with ports. And actually someone is booking with you right now for that. Tell, tell us more about that. Yeah, so they're doing a March, 2025, um... So they're going to do three, three cruises in a row. Back, 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 back. back to back to back to back. But it's awesome. I mean, so it, the March 1st, 2025 out of San Juan. Um, so they're going to be, they're going to hit uh, St. Martin. Uh, they're going to hit St. Lucia, Barbados, uh, Martinique, uh, St. Kitts, Nevis. And then they're going to go back to San Juan. So that's their first sailing. Then on the second one, they're going to hit uh, the British Virgin Islands. Um, they're going to hit Barbados again, St. Lucia. Um, they're also going to hit Antigua. Oh, yeah. Which is different. So they are yeah. totally then, switching it up. So the yeah, first, totally way, different. The first mm -hmm. way you can switch it up is with yeah. a different itinerary and hitting different ports. But another way you can switch it up, and a lot of people don't know this, and actually, you were on one of the holiday themed sailings that I wished I was on because I was on the one after that. In other words, Virgin Voyages does a lot for themed sailings around holidays um, and different times of the year. And you were on one of the final Christmas sailings. And when I got on board, I was on the post New Year's sailing, which means that they had switched over some of the themed shows and a lot of the decor around the boat which means when I got on board with um, two amazing people who've been watching my channel, thank you, they were on that back-to-back -back sailing and they got to experience both and it was two totally different experiences for them. Yeah. And so uh, the two ways that you can have a different kind of sailing or whether it's the ports are different or the type of theme or entertainment that's on board is different. And a preview of what's coming at the end of this video JC and I were on a back-to-back -back sailing, same itinerary, same entertainment, which leads, and we'll talk honestly about that, but which leads to the next part of this, which is key concerns. The key concern people have, it starts with a B. What is it, JC? Bored. Boring. People are afraid of being bored. I think yeah. it's a totally valid concern, but I will first say, that the thing about Virgin Voyages is there are a lot, hold on. Do you know anyone who's experienced everything on Virgin Voyages on a single sailing? No. I talk about this a lot in my videos because I'm, I'm honest about it. There are things I did not discover and I ask people to add their comments and helpful tips around things to discover. Cause there are things I did on my sixth, seventh and eighth sailings that I didn't even know existed on my first sailing. It wasn't yeah. until my third sailing that I discovered that there was my, one of my favorite eateries on the ship upstairs on the 16th, 16th deck, which is the Sun Club with their amazing bow and poke bowls. I didn't yeah. have that. I didn't even know that existed when I first sailed with them. What's an example for you that you didn't discover until later? 
Well, if it helps, I didn't discover that place you just mentioned until the fourth set. <laughs> <laughs> but on my I third was, sailing, I discovered it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. On my third sailing, I didn't discover they had karaoke rooms that you can, and it's not like karaoke on a normal cruise where you all jump in one big room together and you sing. It's private rooms that you can schedule out and for like an hour, two hours, and just go in there. And my wife and I just go in there, we just sing for an hour. And it's included, right? Like it's not yeah. an additional yeah. pay. And actually, hold on, quick secret. I almost podcasted in one of those rooms because they're so like well soundproofed. I was like, oh, I'm gonna podcast from these rooms. Uh, that's an aside. So there are things that it's just, it's difficult. There's so many amazing options and it's why we love Virgin Voyages. There's so many things to do. It's very difficult mm -hmm. to discover everything in a single or two or three sailings. There are things I discovered on my eighth sailing that I hadn't experienced before. And yeah. so it's really nice to be able to give yourself more time and you will actually hold on. I, we can't guarantee you won't be bored, but something tells me you're not going to be bored. It's going to be fantastic. But that is yeah. a key concern. And so let's talk about the process, because one of the things and actually you messaged me, right? Because you were like, oh, like, what, what do I expect with like this back to back sailing? And what I loved about the process is that it was easy and they literally held your hand through the process yeah. so you receive a note in your stateroom giving you the heads up like ah like we see that you're on a back-to-back -back sailing and they ask you to meet people or meet your your team uh, we met at sip at one of the spaces around the ship and basically at that time what happens someone will come and get you and they walk you off the boat <laughs> and into this little, this big room, the same room that you were there when you checked in, um, you know, so you go back to that room. There's a, there's like a few people sitting with a laptop there. They reactivate your band and you get that right back on. Exactly. And they take you through that whole process. And so you're in the same space in which you initially checked in, but it's a much faster and shorter and easier process. Um, and actually I was surprised. There are a lot of people who were sailing back to back with us. Yeah. I was genuinely curious how many people, but we went through that process very, very quickly. And then you get right yeah. back on board and I made a mistake. So my, my mistake was that I upgraded my room for my second sailing when I should have just stayed in the same room the entire time. So yeah. the standard way of doing it, you book your room, and you were in the same room for the next sailing. Things got complicated with mine because my second sailing, they were they were very booked on the ship and uh, they couldn't accommodate downgrading me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and so normally yeah. you stay in the same room, uh, but you do get off the ship. And there is a key thing to know about Sailor Loot. And what's that, JC? The thing with Sailor Loot and Bar Tab is it does not transfer over to the other sailing. Exactly. So make sure you spend it. Use it or lose it. And speaking yes. of spending it, two things. One, if you are considering a sailing that is back to back, tell us in the comments below. Because the second thing, don't miss out on a ton of free sailor loot, i.e. onboard credit. JC is there's a reason why I work with JC as a travel agent. This man can hook you up. So make sure you get more info on that in the description below. Um, but there's one other thing that we want to talk to you about very honestly, which is our own personal review. So you and I did a back-to-back -back sailing two months ago, um, and the itinerary was Scarlet Lady out of Miami, four-night sailing, back-to-back, -back, another four-night sailing. So we did eight nights. <laughs> Are you tired of me, JC? We did eight <laughs> nights, and it was the same entertainment, and it was the same ports tell me about your experience jc yeah so our first sailing that we had uh had a large group of 50 and that wore me out <laughs> i was so busy dealing with the group a lot of partying and i was so looking forward to the second set where i could just relax enjoy the ship enjoy the ports and not have to worry about anyone else except my wife and I. So 
Um, I was fine with. It. I was we. You know, there's plenty to do in in these ports that they stop at. I mean, you're not going to see everything at one stop. So there was plenty to do, and um, there's plenty to do on the boat too. Yeah,、so、I agree. I, you know, enjoyed it. And one one thing about one thing I wanted to mention about getting you know when you're getting off the boat、uh, to check back in, you don't have to bring your luggage. You can leave your luggage in your room. You don't have to drag everything out. You leave. You have the same room. You leave everything in there. You just get right back on, and the boat's empty. It's nice. It's true, actually, <laughs> and it's a great time to go take photos around the ship, which is what、yeah. I was doing during that time. And don't forget, don't make the mistake I made because I did have to pack up my entire room, move it to a, a new room. So don't、yeah. be me.、Um, I had a similar but different experience. But let's let's think about something real quick. Four nights on the first sailing, four nights on the second. How many dinner restaurants are there? Six.、Uh, yeah, six. Yeah. There's six dinner restaurants, which means if you want to hit every dinner restaurant on the four night sailing, you can't. You just won't. Like you won't be able to. And so on my first sailing, I didn't have 50 people with me, but I had one, a、uh, one one person that counts as 50 people, which is Meatball. And on my second sailing. He got off, and I stayed, and that was one of my first solo sailings with Virgin Voyages. I talked very honestly about that sailing alone. Spoiler alert: amazing info on that in the description below. But one of the key things is that during those four nights, we didn't eat at every restaurant. But on the rest of the four nights, I was able to hit the rest of the restaurants. I'm going to be totally honest. Meatball hates Test Kitchen. I love Test Kitchen. I'm not vegetarian, but I love the vegetarian menu at Test Kitchen, and that meant on the second back-to-back -back sailing, I could hit the rest of the restaurants and also not have to share a single dish with him, which was fantastic. And so, getting all of the restaurants and the other thing, he doesn't like all of the activities. He, he doesn't want. I mean, he will do yoga, but he doesn't want to. So I was able to、um, do all of the VHS、mm -hmm. workout, the dodgeball with him.、Um, <laughs> Actually, have you done it, JC? The、uh, the the bye 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 dance class, the the、no. eight, the nineties boy <laughs> band dance class. It's super、uh -uh. fun. He does that.、Um, yeah. But he, we did. We weren't able to schedule wise get it in, so I got it in on the next one. There were a lot of things schedule wise on the first one that I couldn't do that I、yeah. got in on the second one. I tried grog walk, the bar crawl for my first time. Like、yeah. the list is endless. So if you're worried about being bored. Basically, even in those eight nights, I didn't do all of the normal. It's kind of funny to say this. I have a normal lineup of things I do on Virgin Voyages. I still didn't get to my the entire list of my normal lineup. Eight nights was simply not enough. Which BTW, I do have that month-long sailing on my radar. So to quell your potential, I might be bored. I think it's difficult to be bored on Virgin Voyages. There are a lot of things to do, and a back-to-back -back sailing can extend your time. All right, back-to-back -back sailing. What did you hear today? Let's recap all of that. There are a couple reasons why you might consider a back-to-back -back sailing. I mean, why not, right? But one, it can extend your time to help you get at the exact number of nights of your ideal vacation. It can also allow you to have two different experiences. Whether it's a different experience at different ports, or a different experience, whether it's a themed cruise, maybe you have two different sailings that one's over one holiday. I loved the Valentine's Day sailing; that was really fun. Obviously, they're not going to have all those Valentine's Day parties before or after Valentine's Day, so you can kind of mix it up in that way. But the top concern that people have is around being bored. And one of the things I recommend is looking at some of the example daily itineraries. I will link that in the description below. There are a lot of things to do, and it's difficult, even in a back-to-back -back sailing, to discover all of the things that's offered on Virgin Voyages. The process really easy. They will take you through it. You have to get off the ship, but you do it as a group, and you come right back on, where you have the ability to be the first. Back on the app, scheduling all of your activities for your next sailing. You have the comfort of staying in the same room and not having to pack up your stuff. And then you are right back in action to be able to enjoy the rest of your vacation. Back to back sailing is something that JC and I have both done. Make sure you check out the amazing deal that you can get in the description below. If you have a helpful tip, add it in the comments. I'm Christine Lozada, and we will see you in the next one. Ciao.